After a month in Oaxaca, it was finally time to hit the road. I spent a decent amount of time researching maps and weather reports before taking off. Based on these factors, I decided on a route that would take me through a total of 11 states and keep me mostly in the mountains where it was cooler. The first leg of the journey took me from Oaxaca City to a town in Morelos, not far from Mexico City. This part of Mexico is noteworthy for some really interesting rock formations that jut up into the sky. insane town blocked in on all sides by these crazy mountains that just jut up and down Mexico, there's over 250 different types of insects that are eaten on a regular basis, um, dating back from pre-Hispanic times. Um, and nowhere is this more uh, apparent than in the center of the country, like where I'm at right now in the state of Morelos. I'm uh, here in the marketplace, and uh, there's just all kinds of different types of insects advertised. Escamoles, escamoles y hormigas. Okay, todos? Tiene todo? Okay, so. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So she's gonna make something with uh, these guys, these guys, and then something with uh, uh, Weed La Coche. Bonita. Continuing on with my 11 state Mexico odyssey, the next leg of my trip took me through the heart of Mexico City, the state of Mexico, Querétaro, and ultimately ending up in San Miguel de Allende, Guanajuato. I knew Mexico City was probably going to be a major pain in the ass as far as traffic went, 
but I just couldn't resist the opportunity to say that I'd been there on my motorcycle. With a population of over 20 million, it's one of the largest cities in the world. And despite the fact that I was on one of the fastest routes, it still took about two hours to get from one side to the other. The rainy season was now in full effect, and I'd been extremely lucky up to this point in staying dry. As I approached San Miguel de Allende, my luck began to run out. After a couple hours of riding around in the rain, I found a cheap hotel, dried out, and continued the journey in the morning. Although these cobblestone roads were a serious pain in the ass for my overloaded ST1300, I had to admit this was one of the most beautiful places I'd visited in Mexico. I'm in uh, San Miguel de Allende, one of the richest towns in Mexico. This is where droves of gringos come and, uh, and settle here. It's cool, it's actually one of the most beautiful places I've ever been uh, in all of Mexico, but it's extremely expensive. I mean, this place is more expensive than a lot of places that I've seen in the United States. It's hard to eat for less than six bucks. So I'm gonna be heading on to greener pastures soon. work on a very old building. This place has got a lot of Spanish history to it. All of this is hand painted, every single little piece painted by hand. Picking up the journey the next morning, I headed to one of my all-time favorite places in Mexico, Aguas Calientes. So I'm uh, in the state of Jalisco. I just left uh, San Miguel de Allende and um, on my way to Aguas Calientes. in uh, Aguas Calientes, known as the heart of Mexico, and basically sort of the center of the country. This is one of my favorite cities in Mexico, just for the vibe. It's very hip, it's very educated, it's very intellectual. There's coffee shops everywhere, bookstores everywhere. Just people are nice, it's clean, the roads are good, so uh, I am excited to be back. Just one of about five million uh, bookstores or librerias in uh, the city of Aguas Calientes. Right now, these guys make absolutely one of my favorite uh, meals I've ever had in all of Mexico. Borrachi with the uh, blue corn. 
uh, sort of tortilla thing. Okay, so just gracias. And this is one of the best things I've eaten ever in Mexico. Chicha. crazy assortment of different sauces and stuff like that. This place is absolutely delicious. These are blue corn tortilla, pork belly tacos with pickled radish, jalapenos, black sesame seeds, black salt. Very elegant. They always bring out an elegant presentation of salsas. Missing my chapulín salsa, but I guess I got my fix of uh, salsa chapulín in Oaxaca. So this is my garage. Uh, every time I'm in Aguascalientes, I stay at this hotel. They always let me park right here. So it's my garage. I'm just getting started, uh, getting ready to head to the state of Nayarit. This leg took me through the big city of Guadalajara to the state of Nayarit. In the past, famous for its heroin production, it's since gained a reputation as being one of the safest in Mexico. Certainly the easiest way to travel in Mexico. These toll roads are privately owned and kept very clean and in good condition. in the town of uh, Compostela in the uh, state of Nayarit. This is uh, one of the Pueblos Magicos. It's like a list of uh, uh, towns that are noteworthy for having a certain charm or a certain kind of a feature uh, that's you know, sort of a charming feature. So this is definitely one of those. Extremely tranquil, extremely clean. The state of Nayarit traditionally, they used to deal a shitload of heroin out of here, but they've since cleaned up their act. Oh yeah, just absolutely 
clean, safe, lots of cool looking stuff. What more can you ask? This is the whole line to vote. Today is the uh, presidential election. Everybody's lined up to vote. Everybody's excited. Uh, exciting day in Mexico. For the final leg of the journey, I headed to my old stomping grounds, Mazatlan, Sinaloa.